Hi everybody, welcome to another World War Doe video. Uh, just want to start off by thanking everybody so much for uh, commenting, subscribing. I've gained a few subscribers over the past few days as well, so uh, thanks for the uh, support. Um, also over Discord and that as well, so I've got to say I really appreciate it. And I'm just checking my recording here, which we are, because the last one did not work, which was a shame. Now today we're breaking the mould a little bit, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, I've been coming up uh, against a few people who've actually been running my deck um, which is this here so and a lot of people have been asking for like tips and tricks on how to play the deck now I'm still learning it as well myself but uh, I'll do the best I can to sort of uh, showcase the, the deck primarily Cyborg a lot of people's asking uh, how to use Cyborg it is quite a tricky card to use believe it or not I think a lot of people think I just spam it against the tower and hope for the best but um yeah i do do that but uh it's also really for five though you know you've got to use it right um it's important not to waste it i think um use it at the right time be patient um it's also very good in defense which um it can take out like which it can take out um pretty much any annoying um troop that you want from a distance and um, mad scientist as well uh, piranhas it's got splash range as well so it is really a powerful card in defense but uh, you'll be able to see the deck on the right hand side with my new layout so uh, thanks so much to sweaty and clash off for all the help with so i'm making my channel and editing and things like that as well it, they've been so so helpful um but today as i said we're breaking the mold a little bit uh, by not playing live now i'm sorry guys i know i like i've said i've loved playing live but uh, i feel it's easier for me to concentrate uh, and show you actually talk through the matches whenever other replays as opposed to um live battles whenever like I've, I've really got to focus a bit and sometimes i tail off in my speech you know so um so we're on course for the 6500 i'm really confident we're going to make it we've we're at 6 to 8 oh at the moment um which is decent we're nine days almost 10 days remaining so i'm going to show you two battles um now i did make a couple of mistakes in them but I played them as as good as I possibly could. Now, if you look at this guy that uh, I played recently for Team France, um, he's at eight thousand trophies, so and he's eleven eleven as well. So, a very very good player. So, what we're going to do? We're going to go back onto that and show you the battle, and I'll try and talk you through it. And just my thought processes in playing the deck and as you can see his cards are really quite high as well he's got like level seven epics uh level four legendary and the mad scientist as well um yeah so he, his card levels are high and they represent how high he is in ladder so <clears throat> i'm gonna try and break down the deck a little bit for you going up against uh, a very skilled player and a higher level player He's got a fancy new skin there, it's quite nice. Um, so, as you can see, I quite like the replays because it shows you the dough cost and what, what they've got in the hand and things like that. What I like to do is push the witch first because um, it is quite a, a quick cycle deck and it puts uh, pressure on. Now, instantly when I see that, I'm taken out with the 1 800. Um, it is a negative elixir trade, but it does help. Um, now, look at the just watch the right hand tower with the witch. This is what I'm talking about with the witch. Just keep an eye on the right hand tower and look how low it goes. Yeah, so he's coming in with a big push here. I'm teleporting out of the way. And, and he's back to the mad scientist already. And look at Major Fire. I told you this yesterday with the, the Nightfall. Um, it, look at the, the value that Major Fire gets. Takes out mad scientist and the Grievel and does some damage on the commander as well despite being in the bubble um so at this point i've got cyborg in my hand i've got shot down in my hand so i go in and i put cyborg in afterwards i do need to be a little bit careful he's disabling my heal tower here so a nightfall and then a teleport actually out of the way of danger and i've took his tower as well now, obviously we need to wait in my heal tower to heal up and he has an elixir uh, a do advantage sorry excuse me um, so we shut down his rage tower just so he can rage up on us and just watch the major fire play here guys look at the value it gets it gets the buck three door gone 
it gets a level 4 legendary, another 3 Dogon, and damage on the commander. It's, it really is such a powerful card. Also, another tip I like to use is shutting down the tower uh, whenever major fires coming towards it. Uh, because sometimes they'll just leave it because they know the tower can deal with it. Uh, but it, the damage that it does is just insane. Now, I make a mistake here. I play Nightfall and I probably would have killed him there with my Cybok. Now, that was a mistake. Uh, so I go airborne here, he disables my heal tower, but the good thing about jetpack is that killbot can't touch you whenever um, you're in there. So he's got a safety dome, I try a jetpack just to get a win, it's just a bit there. Um, he actually gets out of the way quite well here. Uh, he's got a bot coming in, which we don't really don't need to worry about, teleport that back. Uh, well, heal's nearly ready in three seconds. Nightfall again. And we just heal up and then jetpack in for the win here. Uh, which is really, it looks simple, but it, it does take quite a lot of sort of patience and playing it at the right time, you know? So, yeah. So, the next and final replay I want to show you. Um, it was a, a game I played last night, actually, against Lucky Lion. Um, who's a, a, a great player as well. Um, yeah, and it was a pretty close match. Um, so we'll just go back onto the replays. Now let me know if you want to see more replays or you'd rather see live battles, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, so we've had a quite good few wins today. We come up, we had a loss there um, against the guy for final boss. The clan he used to be in and that is uh, my friend Attax clan, great clan. Um, top clan last season, I think. Um, and another one for a Diamond One player. I've never heard of that clan, Do Holders IL, Illinois, perhaps. I don't know. Um, we had a loss there. Uh, Sharp Shot, great player as well. Uh, shout out to him, that was a good match too. Um, hopefully, this match is still available, guys, and I can show you. Yeah, so here's the match here against Lucky Lion. So it's a Zeppelin deck. I normally struggle against these decks, but uh, and it's also got my nemesis, the uh, heal bot, which I absolutely hate playing against. I never use it, but I hate playing against it. So uh, we'll just jump into the match just now, and I'll show you. He's platinum one as well, so he's a, he's a really good player. Um, and I'll show you this one, and we'll end the video after that, folks. But I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, I'm going to try and upload daily. I think I'm the only person for the UK that's actually uploading in Clash Royale. So, uh, on World War II, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But we're going to keep going with that. And I'm hoping you're enjoying it. I'm getting good feedback for the community. So, that's nice to hear. So, at this point, again, we've got the Witch in our starting hand. So, we'll probably play it first. we we'll actually Nightfall first. And go your bone. So we're just waiting. So if you didn't know, you can actually hit the middle and hit both towers here. So you hit both towers and take that out as well. So you did damage to both towers. And it's worth it for that small bit of damage you, you incur. So then we push the witch in. Um, and he's got troop trap, which to me, I feel it's a bit overpowered. Um, shutting down that. And then we're going in with Cybok without the commander here. If you can see and just look, it's still doing damage. Raging up, and we're going to major fire. Uh, sorry, mm, one eight hundred the the witch. Sorry, I couldn't get the name right. And we're going to major fire on the witch. And then we need to try and take this out with our commander. But as you can see, the damage advantage we've got already is still quite good. Uh, Mad Scientist doesn't do a lot, but it is quite annoying and it builds up over time. So at this point, we're going to get our door and then put a witch down. Hopefully he rages up and hits it, but it doesn't happen. So then I start worrying here when I see a Zeppelin. So I teleport and then I miss the actual portal. As you see, I put it down at the bottom. So that was a mistake. Um, and I'm wasting a bit of dough here. So a Nightfall and then I use my 1800 again. But unfortunately that zeppelin is really really powerful when it gets locked on but this is the move i'm talking about look shut down the tower but he gets his commander there on time if he didn't get his commander there that would have been tower um it's quite a sneaky move but i, I really enjoy using it uh, to catch my players uh, my opponents off guard 
So if you look at our tower, it's down to 814, you would think you'd be favourite here. Um, which it probably is, to be honest. So we use the jetpack manoeuvre here. Um, which takes that out. And then we're going to use Nightfall, I think. So I bought Nightfall. Yep, so as you can see, makes the mad sight. Mad sign is pretty much useless. Major fire on the witch and on the bot, despite the curse. Um, and then we can use for one eight hundred again. So that, with us being second favorite, we're now probably favorite for this match. It's trip trap or witch, which is fine, and it's used its rage there on the. But look, I just shut down his tower there, and I've got the side buck on it. So just look at the damage. Just look at the damage it does. And with the nightfall, he's not got enough time. And that's how. Um, I mean, I think the cyborg on the tower we shut down is really good at catching opponents out and winning matches just at the end of games. Um, it is better whenever you're tanking with a commander, but um, I love using it. I just think it's the best card in the game. Uh, it's the most exciting card in the game. I think my deck is very aggressive. Uh, however, it, as you can see, it does work when played correctly. And the, I just wanted to showcase two matches that... Um, I've, I've enjoyed playing over the past couple of days so if you get any thoughts guys in the deck and if there's anything you, you think I should add to it or um, take away from it uh, please let me know in the comments down below uh, but for now we're going to leave it there and I will have some live gameplay for you tomorrow um, hopefully we'll be close to the 6500 and we could perhaps make a video on that we'll definitely be making a video on it this week at some point um, but we'll have some live gameplay tomorrow guys um, so thanks so much for watching again and I appreciate all your support take care